just the thing in the coil tank that is not working correctly so so don't worry about it so hi my passenger how are you feeling today sorry for being away for too long for my english subscribers i'll continue doing videos for you from time to time don't worry hello guys it's the morons hex i forgot to start with this and in today's video i'm showing you my bmw e38 with seven it's a 725 TDS, this old school pre-chamber, 2.5 liter, 143 horsepower, 6 cylinder in wine, diesel. Yeah, it's an old thing, you know. It has an automatic gearbox from the Stone Age too. It has some selection of the gears, 4th, 3rd, 2nd gear. It has D plus sport mode here. And I have already installed a 2 bar boost meter and also a boost regulator which is manual it's inside under the hood i have also installed a hybrid turbo and uh, i have remap of this car so this car is currently 197 horsepower and it's it's 50 horsepower more and 50 more than the stock one it it could have been uh, 10 or 15 horsepower more but we reduced this uh, because the gearbox starts to slip it's an old gearbox it's almost 25 years old gearbox and you know these things tend to break easily and start to slip and they cannot provide this horsepower to the road the the cold boost pressure of the turbo now is 1.8 i can regulate this as i told you when i need the car is overall in very good condition guys of course there are some scratches and things on the body but there is no rust underneath as you know the car is from the 98th year it has this M multi wheel it has CD changer this tape it's really old school guys putting some tapes here but I will not because you you know this this girl you know is a Bulgarian singer Ivana, you know and I can just open it and put here the old school way and start the song it's really really nice thing <laughs> I enjoy listening to this old old stuff oh, all the others are opening Spotify and so on but it's really really old school and nice to listen to these tapes here are some small navigation board computer showing some things and let me ride you in this city pov driving guys in the city you would ask how much this thing consumes in the city and i'm telling you guys it's consuming right now it, this is the average since i started but it's already 18 almost 90 liters yeah you know it's a, it's a heavy thing almost two ton car with me and with the fuel almost and it's an automatic and it's an old uh, diesel you know it needs it needs some revs because uh, it starts its uh, maximum torque around 2000 but now with the hybrid turbo it's a little later maybe around 2.3 2.5 k and it it kicks hard until 4.5 4.6 k although it revs to 5 k rpm and then shifts to the next gear and actually th that uh, revving to 5 i think it's not needed because it slows the car down but it's, it's just how it's made there is no option for manual sh shifting except these things here for third but this is not a real manual shift i'll go through here because Day, many many cars I want to show you some driving guys I like the ISC button you know this is automatic stability control which work on the rear wheels and works them electronically by using the brakes so that you can get out of a situation being in snow it has a seat heating which is very nice I like the seat heating it works actually everything works from the electronic part it's even have uh, a tv but it's on a walk you know and you cannot use it now 
maybe you already noticed the nice sound from the generation and this is from the exhaust and uh, I have modified it's a twin exhaust at the end with uh, some resonators I'll show you at the end of the video but if you want to feel the real sound guys it's, it's now now you should actually uh, put your bigger headphones or use some subwoofer or bigger speakers hi-fi so that you can you can hear and feel the lowest the lowest vibrations and noise because on your phone it wouldn't be real sound it's a really really nice sound around 1.5k and 2k rpm above the turbo changes the sound but it's cool too outside the sound is very cool better than inside i think but I cannot drive it and be outside too <laughs> but I can use the heater that's how the maniacs do use the heater put some more heat inside and open the window to hear the sound that's what I do when I have a noisy generation or I have something some modification on the exhaust or I have a V8 of course that's how I do it I'll open for you so that you can hear Yeah, uh, about the consumption in the city is around 14 to 16 depending how you drive I, I never drive it easy but uh, I, when I tried I, I have made 12 even or 10 it depends very much on how much you will be sitting in these traffic jams and yeah the, the ISC is off it's not a drifting car you know it has uh, a lot of weight and it starts it doesn't have the turbo starts the turbo starts a little late, so it's hard to drift. But it has its sweet spot between 2.5 and 4.5, where the engine is alive, and when it gives you the maximum 180, 197 horsepower in that range. So it's a good range engine, but little late to start, which prevents you from starting with drift. And of course, the body is heavy, as I told you. I have done some maintenance on the car I have changed the radiator changed the thermostat the water pump you know all the things you have to do on these old engines because you know they tend to to break the cylinder head so you have to keep them from uh, warm temperatures not to abuse them for too long in order they not to get hot because if they get hot often they can crack the head and you have to rebuild the head that's the weak point of this engine so that you you always should change your fluids your antifreeze and you should know that your system is in good condition so you're not so worried about the cooling of your car of course in third series i have had this in third series as you know if you're an old subscriber you you know it but uh yeah here it's a little heavier much heavier not little and it's it's a different uh, engine here it's not so aggressive even though it's powerful but the body is heavy so i will not talk so much sorry about that and one more thing the pulse goes around two bar and then holds to 1.8 bar that's how it, it is it can be extremely extremely uh well efficient if you drive it really low speed with 70 80 or 100 and it can give you 6 7 which for such size of the car such old engine technology is really really good number the top speed is around 200 kilometers but yeah it's not a good idea to to hold your foot down for so long on these old machines on 1.8 bulls <laughs> it's not a very good idea because it gets hot this engine gets hot really fast I mean the exhaust temperature and in the whole engine too 16.5 for now for our economy 
I have a phone too here, but it's not currently working. But it's a cool thing, you know, to have it in the car. It's a very comfortable car, really comfortable. I destroyed some of the comfortness of this car by adding this noisy, loud exhaust, but I like it like this. Oh, especially the deep, the deep tones when you start, amazing. Sorry guys, too much traffic today, I cannot show you some real driving, but this is, oh, this is the city driving. Sounds like an old truck. You can easily swipe when you use the G-Force <laughs> and then step a little bit and make good swipes because the car is long. But uh, if you want to drift, no, with this auto transmission and this engine is really not so possible in this car. Maybe if this was uh, manual, it would be better. But with the auto, you lose too much power and you, you cannot control so good the car. very smoothly for its age so I like it the comfort is really on a high level it's much much better than most of the new cars which are cheaper it's really really a comfort ride still in uh, 2020 second year it still gives a nice comfort inside and feels like and you feel like you're in a special car the handling is pretty direct of course the car is wide and it has some body roll, it's, it's old after all. The old cars always have body roll, especially such big cars. But it's, it's, on, it's in good, uh, but it's stable enough. And it's much better than Mercedes from the same years, of course. It's much more sportier. I mean uh, in terms of stability and feeling of the drive. So you would ask me how this big car feels in a town, in a big city with small streets and parking and so on. It's really easy to to maneuver with. It, 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 it's it's easy. It's uh, pretty easy to navigate it, to steer it. Of course, it's a big car with no cameras and so on, but. But it has a very good turning radius, so not a big deal. Of course, sometimes you need to search longer for space to park if there are not enough spaces where you can put this big thing. But after all, the ride is really comfortable and nice. I really enjoy driving this car, although it's not fast, I have driven much more faster cars, but this car gives you an, some other feeling, not much of these cars in good shape left on the streets. So it's really kind of special feeling inside, you know, this feeling what you get when you car when you drive some special car. It's, it, I just cannot translate it to you, but it's somehow you feel the car special. You feel good inside a car and with the noise from the generation and, and with the noise from the exhaust, you get some additional cool feeling. The turbo kicks in, you hear the turbo. All these little things make it an interesting, exciting and nice to drive. I really, really feel good and the bumps and all the imperfections of the road, it handles them really good. I 
I have also changed the oil of the gearbox just for maintenance purposes and also of the rear differential the oil inside too I like that you, you can turn off the, I, the ASC really quick not like the DSC and DTC and all the new stuff here you should hold and it doesn't sometimes doesn't stop all the systems in the bigger cars in my E65 for example I couldn't stop it completely but here you can stop it so easy that's how it should that that is how it should be in a BMW when you get in the boost you start to feel car wider especially in a, in a lower gears it's nice Master a driving at really really low speed. You can you can really drive it really slow, like you're just a city tour <laughs> on a city tour. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the the best diesel would be 730D with 193 horsepower option. If you remap it, you can get nice 240 250 even 60 horsepower easily and with some modification 300 why not so it will be much more alive with the turbine geometry and 3 liter not 2.5 that would be a good one also if I have to choose the coolest one maybe I would choose the V8 4.4 with 286 horsepower they are really rare and really problematic these days <laughs> if they haven't been taken care of because the TDS yeah it's uh, you will say junk engine but I feel it's some kind of special I don't know that's just me and also it's, it's easy to repair it's easy to switch to no, no one is caring about this engine so you can switch this this engines really easy you can just buy a new another one and put it there it's not a cheap engine like uh, it's not an expensive engine like the V8 of course doesn't have the starting power of the V8 but it has some boost are good taking in mind that it's a big car and it's old one but they stop I love to cruise with 1.5 to 2k rpm and just making revs room 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 car actually much but it's the sweetest spot of the noise
Podcast. <lacht> Now guys, for my next video, to film uh, sport driving on my favorite road, if you watch my other videos, that's the road where I drive my E36 and my other cars, my E65 745i also was driven there, and I'm gonna make some comparison of the times, it's an amateur comparison, but I'm gonna compare how is the time with this car, compared with the time 745 for the same thing 7 series D65 had 333 horsepower it was really fast car while this one has only 200 now and they are not like a V8 eh? horsepower of course I love like this. You are gonna overtake it and he is making a turn in the last moment. Just so comfortable. I feel like I can sit and sleep while driving. Really amazing. I like it so much. Okay guys. I hope you enjoyed, sorry for the talk, I just cannot stop talking as you know, you can subscribe of course, you can support us in the Patreon, be our patrons if you want, support us financially and hit the like button and leave a comment, thanks guys, see you in the next video, bye! And here is the exhaust, it's a resonator at the end with this Akrapovich, they are not original of course rear ends and it has really really nice sound from this 2.5 liter pre-chamber diesel thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoy it you can subscribe to our channel and watch our other videos bye guys see you next time